morning YouTubers, Tom Elko 70 here. I don't know how this is coming out, I hope it's coming out fine. I'm using my brand new camera. Uh, it's the first time I ever used it, I got it just yesterday. But anyway, we I wanted to show you what happened here, either last night or this morning, I'm not sure when, but we had a Bernado come through here. And for people who don't know what a Bernado is, it's something that looks like it could have been a tornado, but it wasn't, it was a bear. So, anyway, I'm going to show you what happened. And as you can see, and I can't, because my camera shuts off, I don't, haven't fixed that yet, but there's the grill that has knocked over. You can see the, I can't, but I'll have to turn it on again. You can see the, the mud prints on here, and you can kind of see the paw print there. Pretty good size one, actually. But this grill is probably toast. It, it was borderline anyway. We were looking for another one. And anyway, and there's the, the inside of the grill. And it's pretty much done. And I don't know if I can pick this up or not, but maybe we can get a, a bear There is a bear print there. I don't know if it's showing up or not. There's a couple of them here in the mud. But never touched my garden. I guess he doesn't like tomato plants. Oh, wait a minute. He did touch the garden. Yeah, he was rooting in there, but he never hurt the plants. He walked through it. These are footprints. I didn't know that. Anyway, there's a big indention there. That's right here. Wow, just missed that plant by trampling it. Ah, where's his manners? Should have wiped his feet before you walked through my garden. Anyway, and the other thing was, was, and we know the wind didn't blow the garbage can over. Drag the garbage bag out. And Let's go up and look at the garbage. It's up the hill here. So, by the way, I do have a, a pistol with me in case he happens to want to reappear while I'm up here. Now, I only have a 380 with me. And I know it wouldn't kill a bear, but it might tickle him to death. So, anything to help me get away, that'd be... But here's his bag. Well, there's some stuff there. And then up here, where he had his meal, if he found anything. I usually don't leave anything for the trash to eat. I always eat it. But there it is. Yep. Not a good thing. Hope he gets sick in the stomach. Hope he got something that doesn't agree with him. But anyway. That's it. And uh, I don't see any signs of them, which is good. I don't want to have a conflict. But, and this is where I'm at up here. And so you can kind of get an idea of the elevation. Not the first bear attack we had. We had one a couple years ago. We did the same thing. Drag the garbage bag, go up the hill here, and to get him out of there, I had to fire a couple shots into the air, and it scared him, he took off. But, that's it. Uh, that was what happened to me the last night of this morning, and I didn't hear a thing. So, uh, don't know what we're going to do to 
come back to it, but I have we got to get a new grill, and I don't know how to stop this from happening again. I guess I take the grill in the garage all the time. That'd be the only thing. But I can't believe he missed stepping on that tomato plant. Wow, that was amazing. Could have walked around. Eh, no manners. I don't care. But, uh, Anyway, I got a mess to clean up, and like I said, fortunately it could have been worse. He could have clawed on the camper and ripped the cover off of that, but he didn't. And I'm thankful for that. And there's no other damage, that was it. But it's uh, a little bit of a mess. I'll get the grill set up and I'll tear the bottle off. Thank God the bottle didn't rupture. But, uh, well, that's what happens when you live in the woods. So, anyway, yeah, I think he broke the hinge here, too. It's, but that's going to be it for now. It's a short video, but I just thought I would bring you along to let you see what happened and we got some real good videos coming up too so appreciate everybody watching and we'll catch you on the next video